Man accused of kidnapping a Boston mother whose body was found dead in the trunk of his car is locked up in Massachusetts tonight. Lewis Coleman made his first appearance in federal court in Boston today. Why federal court? Let's get right to Christina Rex. And Christina, if he's convicted in federal court, he could possibly face the death penalty. David, he could. And it's up to the U.S. Attorney's Office and a federal panel to decide if the death penalty is something they want to pursue. But as you'll see, Jesse Correa's family and friends and our legal analysts are torn. Did he tell you why he did it? I don't have any comment. Thank you. Lewis Coleman's court appointed lawyers refused to talk to the media after his first appearance in Boston federal court on charges of kidnapping resulting in death. I don't want to talk right now. Jesse Correa's family left the courthouse emotional after sitting front row watching Coleman in handcuffs, an orange jumpsuit, his eyes low. A 14 page complaint outlines a timeline that spans five days and three states. From Coleman allegedly kidnapping Jesse at a Boston nightclub to her body found in his trunk four days later. If convicted, he could face the death penalty or life in prison. I don't think it's unlikely. I just think they want to know more about him. The victim's family and friends are torn. Yes and no. I would rather him just like rot in jail with other people. So. Why, why would you like to see him? I'd rather him get the death penalty because he took Jesse's life. The U.S. Attorney's Office has to decide if it wants to pursue the death penalty. We don't have the death penalty. Legal analyst Phil Tracy says there's a lot to consider. I just think they want to know more about him. For instance, does he have a history of violence towards women? Does he have uh, a record? Does he have any sort of mental incompetence? And as Coleman's case progresses, Boston police are trying to figure out how to make the city safer. They're holding a meeting tomorrow night with representatives from all the city's bars and nightclubs to discuss strategies for protecting patrons. Lisa? Christina, thank you.